Hello everyone, I'm your host Wendy. Today we're going to provide you a new solution for IoT device management as well as the maintenance management of SSDs. As we know, the development of IoT vertical application field has been gradually maturing. However, upgraded IoT applications also bring new challenges. For example, the huge one of edge devices under IoT architecture has become a big challenge for system management. As SSD storing huge amount of data has become a very important part of IoT device management, today we invite a Pacer, a leading manufacturer of industry-grade SSD and DRAM, to talk to us about DBS Double Barrier Solution Cloud Edition, which is developed to ensure highly efficient system operation. So now, please welcome the product director of a Pacers Sales and Marketing Center, Frank Hemville. Hi, hi, Wendy. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to talk to you today. Thanks for joining us. Frankly speaking, a Pacer is known for its vertical market application experiences. So, could you please tell us what kinds of problems do customers often encounter when expanding IoT applications? That's a great question. Uh, the integration of emerging technologies such as 5G, the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, and edge computing has made edge devices increasingly important. At the same time, the number of edge devices under the IoT architecture is also increasing. Now, the deployment of IoT edge devices has two major features. One is remote operation, such as offshore wind power and petroleum exploration. Another feature is extensive volume, as we find in 5G base stations. With the current method of setting up Internet of Things equipment, the method of using manpower to visit the site for repairs is not only very costly, but also challenging in terms of personnel. Uh, common issues such as changes of shifts, staff members taking leave, or unusual events like this new coronavirus pandemic can all get in the way of timely repairs. In the worst cases, it may even mean system downtime. Simply put, the proper management of large numbers of crucially positioned edge devices is a major pain point for customers in the process of deepening AIoT applications. Oh, I see. What are you saying about these challenges that might impact the maintenance or operation of edge devices? In the past, only solution was to throw the manpower at the problem, but the strategy might no longer be valid in the future. Then I would like to ask a further question. We know that SSDs play a very important role in deepening AIoT applications, but why are more and more customers asking to include SSD into the maintenance management? Uh, what impact would a failure bring to the systems? That's a great question. The advantages to SSDs are well known. Their read-write operations are fast, shockproof, and stable. That's why SSDs are widely used to store operating systems. Since the OS is like the brain of the device, if the SSD fails, the operation of the system may become abnormal or non-functional. For example, a production line at a factory may be shut down. An advertising signboard may go blank or just show a blue screen of death. And a security surveillance camera might fail to capture crucial video frames. In addition, one of the operating methods of the Internet of Things system is to analyze the site conditions through big data in conjunction with AI applications, and then formulate various reaction strategies. If important data is not recorded because of SSD failures in edge devices, the chance for a comprehensive analysis may be lost, and the overall system availability will also decrease. Oh, that sounds horrible. You cannot get accurate data if some of the devices don't work properly. But uh, what are the main causes of the failure of SSDs? Good question. There's three main reasons SSDs fail. Abnormally high or low temperatures, mm -hmm. unexpected power loss, and reaching the end of an operational lifespan. In terms of high and low temperature, edge equipment is often placed in very harsh environments such as long-term deployment, in outdoor areas with wide temperature swings, or places where heat dissipation is limited, especially close to a major heat source. As a result, it's difficult to maintain an ideal operating temperature. If the customer does not choose products which are designed to survive in challenging temperatures, 
It may lead to abnormal operation of the SSD. Next, there's unexpected power failures. Mm -hmm. This could be a problem with the national grid. It could also be an external problem, such as a tree falling on a power line, or even a human factor such as incorrect operation. Sometimes it's even a flaw in the design of a system. No matter the reason, if power is cut without warning, the OS stored on the SSD will be forced to stop operating instantly. This will not only affect the SSD, but also affect the integrity and security of the data. Finally, the service life is also a key concern. Mm -hmm. Depending on the flash memory type selected by the customer, the PE cycles may vary widely. It's crucial to select an appropriate SSD for a particular application, otherwise the device's PE cycles may be used up more quickly than expected. But even if you've got the best SSD for the job, you still need to monitor the PE cycles so you can anticipate and mitigate any failure. All right, so temperature swings, unexpected power losses, as well as service lifespan are the three primary concerns. So how would a Pacer's DBS Cloud Edition help the users to deal with those problems? A Pacer's DBS Cloud Edition is a solution designed to monitor the typical pain points of an IoT edge device network. DBS Cloud Edition automatically collects data related to SSD temperatures, unexpected power outages, remaining lifespan, and operating status. Then it instantly transmits the data to the backend management platform. Users can then observe this data as it comes in, thanks to the intuitive dashboard interface. In the event of an abnormality, the system can also send messages to network administrators through email, line, WeChat, and other communication platforms, so that admins can react to critical events in real time, even if they aren't on location. The alerts can even be color-coded to allow admins to determine the severity of a problem at a glance. In addition, a Pacer's DBS Cloud Edition also runs as a plugin within industrial cloud platforms, such as those created by Advantech and Alkson, to significantly reduce consumer deployment time and costs, and is not restricted by specific cloud environments. It also supports private and public clouds such as Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google, and Alibaba Cloud to get the system up and running quickly. DBS Cloud Edition not only provides enterprises with one-stop smart IoT device management services via remote monitoring, but also enables enterprises to provide complete design and peripheral support. The management platform can be completed in a short time, and the benefits brought by it can be enjoyed as early as possible. Oh, I'm starting to see why DBS Cloud Edition can be a practical addition to remote device management platforms. And uh, could you please share any success stories with us about uh, DBS Cloud Edition and how did it help the manufacturer to deploy a system? A Pacer's DBS Cloud Edition now has many successful cases. I'll tell you about one I know, which was a large cutting machine manufacturer located in Taiwan. In the past, a few machines in this manufacturer's factory often failed to boot up normally. Later, the factory built a smart manufacturing system and introduced a Pacer DBS Cloud Edition into the production line. After acquiring more data about daily operations, they found that many operators did not shut down the machine in accordance with normal procedures when they finished work, but rather just cut the power at the source. This situation is essentially the same as an unexpected power loss during a blackout, which can hurt the machine and the SSD. As a result, nearly 2% of the machines in the production line developed problems starting normally during working hours. After DBS Cloud Edition helped them notice this trend, the cutting machine factory changed its management procedures. They added training sessions that reminded employees of the importance of following the standard shutdown method at the end of a shift. By reducing the management problems in this way, a Pacer's intelligent platform not only made the production process more efficient, but also helped to save 30% of the total cost of ownership, making the enterprise more competitive when heading into a new era. Well, that was such an effective and efficient solution. Well, thank you for sharing with us your insights about the trend of IoT applications, as well as the importance of SSD's remote monitoring. 
We know that a pacer has been deeply involved into the industrial market for a long time. So, with the help of DBS Cloud Edition, I'm sure that there will be more and more enterprises maximize the efficiency of SSDs. Thank you again for your time today. No problem, Wendy. Thank you.